Hello everyone and welcome back to Sew Aldo, your sewing tutorial destination that will take your love of sewing to the next level. On today's sewing tutorial, I am going to show you how to sew a zipper fly. You will need a zipper guard and a zipper facing. So the length is going to depend on how long the zipper. The facing is two and a half inches in width and the zipper guard is two inches in width. I also doubled the fabric so it will give me that strength that I needed for the facing. You can also use a fusible interfacing if you like to. I have the front pieces of the skirt. As you can see, it is in two pieces and I already prepped everything. I did a stay stitching along the waist and sew the darts. Now I am going to match the right sides of the facing and the skirt and sew along the edge. I am going to trim off the seam allowance of the facing. Give it a good press and then top stitch right along here. Be sure that the raw edge are pointing towards the facing. Now I am going to match the right sides of the skirt panels together and I'm going to measure how long I want the zipper in. So it should be at least 5 eighths of an inch away from the bottom of the zipper. And then I'm just going to sew the front seam just like you see here. After that, it's time to work on the zip guard and the zipper. So I place the zipper on the right side of the zip guard and I'm going to stitch along the edge. Be sure to keep the zipper pull out of the way. By the way, the zipper that I am using was purchased off of eBay. Then I am going to sew the zipper guard on the right side of the skirt panel. So as you can see here, I am making sure that everything is lining up. And if you have excess fabric on the top, it's okay. We can always trim it off later on. And be sure that the zipper is open so it's much easier to sew it later on because you don't have that extra bulk underneath the fabric. And then I'm going to stitch along the edge here just following the overlock stitches. The zipper pull is giving me some trouble over here because when it's folded, it's kind of locked in place. So it's really hard to pull it. So what I did was I just backstitch right here and then remove the fabric completely and pull the zipper up and then just continue on sewing where I left off. So if you experience this, don't freak out. It's not the end of the world yet. You are the boss of your sewing mate. Also using a longer stitch length it's about 2.8 to 3 Wow it is looking beautiful and I am super pleased about it now I am going to overlap this piece a little bit and I'm going to pin this to secure making sure I'm catching the zip guard and the zip facing Flip it around and I am going to pin the zipper on the facing this time. Then I'm going to open these two fabrics and I'm going to grab the edge of the zipper pinning it on the facing. I would say this is the tricky bit in this tutorial but if you practice you are gonna make it perfect. It will all make sense later on when I remove the pins on the correct side of the fabric. Constructing a zipper fly is actually just like a puzzle piece. So it is interesting and it's also satisfying at the same time. By the way, I watch so many YouTube tutorials and I did a lot of reading about how to construct a zipper fly. Also use my own denim skirt that has a zipper fly to use as my reference. So this was my test project and it turned out so nicely and I am so excited about it. Make sure that you fold away the skirt panel. You are only sewing the zipper on the zipper facing. And I'm 
just going to sew along the edge here and I'm also using a zipper foot. And as I sew, I am also checking underneath the fabric making sure that I am not catching any part of the skirt panel. Now it's time to secure the skirt panel on the zip facing. So make sure there's no wrinkle, smooth out the fabric and I'm just going to pin it. And then I am going to do a basting stitch right along this edge here. Don't worry about it being perfect because this is just base stitching. This is how it should look when you open it. It shouldn't be sewn on the zip guard. Okay, so now I'm going to fold away the other side of the skirt. And then I'm going to top stitch it right inside the basting stitch that I made because I want it to be a little skinnier than the base stitching that I did. So I'm just going to sew it about half an inch. And then I'm just going to repeat it again so it will have a decorative stitching on the front I'm going to sim rip the base stitching and I am going to give the skirt panel a good press okay I'm going to take a moment of pause it's beautiful <laughs> If this tutorial is helpful to you, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up so you can help my channel grow. If you would like to see more of my sewing tutorials, I have all the playlists right here. Go check them out. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!